Hey guys, how's it going? So two things today. First off, I wanna give you a little update tour of this new area in our barn. It's not a new area, but it's going to look new when we're done. I'm really excited about it. Kind of mid-construction at this point, so I just wanna explain what we're gonna be doing with that space. And then we have several boxes that just came in from Gardner's Supply that I wanna open. I think there are a couple of brand new light systems in a couple of those boxes, I think. And I'm really excited to put them together, so I thought it would be a fun thing to do today. So I just gave you guys a recent update on the barn. Nothing has changed since that update in terms of, well, anything in there. Like this door hasn't been centered yet, and this one uh, has not been framed in. But before, we had this hole cut in, it was just bare wall. Like it was just blank wall with nothing there. We couldn't access it with our carts or cars or any of that business. So having the freedom to do that will be nice, but we are planning to use this space for something different. Okay, I'm standing in the front corner, like right inside the garage door. Like I'm backed up against the wall. You can see the driveway area out there. So before this whole area was just full of junk. I mean, we had shelving units here and tools and just random stuff. There was never really a good organization system in here. You can see the old barn roof goes all the way up there. And then this here was where the stairs were. So this, oh, oh, I'm tripping on wood, holy moly. Gotta remember that pile's there. Anyway, the old stairs came down right here. So there was solid wall, old rickety stairs right there. Um, so the stairs have been moved. This is only a temporary, there will be a door to access the other bay there. We just put this here so that wildlife couldn't access the closed part of the barn until the door has been installed. A friend of mine's husband, his name is Mike, he's working on this construction right here. He dropped the ceiling down, so we'll have a 10 foot ceiling in here and reinforce the old barn ceiling there. Uh, and we are gonna have this whole thing framed in. It will be heated and cooled. Uh, it'll be an area where we can film indoor videos, which will be so nice, but I'm also gonna move all of my light systems out here all of my plants and seed starting will happen in this area. And I'm just so thrilled about it and so excited because right now, I mean, you guys have seen our plant room. It's in a spared bedroom. It's a carpeted room and it's incredibly hard to keep it clean and it's a light colored carpet too. I've, been a, I've done a pretty good job but I'm excited to have everything in one space too because right now I have half of my gardening supplies in the barn and I have a lot of gardening supplies upstairs in that plant room. So it's a lot of back and forth. I have a lot of smaller pots up there. So if I'm out in the greenhouse or out in the barn, I think I need a four inch pot. So I'm gonna have to go up to the plant room and get that pot and maybe some moss up there that I don't have out here. So to have everything in one central location will be so nice. And the rest of this barn, like it's very, um, it's not heated. It's very cold in here in the winter, very hot in the summer. Uh, like there's some areas where you can just, you can see daylight through the walls. So to have all of this, just this one bay reinforced and have it an area that we can keep it nice to where when it is over hundred degrees or under zero degrees, we can come in here and have a place where the plants will be happy and um, we have a space to do some filming and things like that because it's hard inside. Our house wasn't built for filming and uh, if any of you have ever tried to do indoor filming, it's tough with lighting and shadows and all of that business and we really try to have our videos look as good as we can. So we thought that this would be a really fun use of this space. And then, you know, having the garage door, like we can roll it up if we want a lot of light in here, a lot of natural light if I'm taking pictures. Um, of course, right now there's no lights installed on the ceilings yet. We'll have a bunch of that done. Uh, but we could use this as a garage too in the end. Like we could park something in here if we need to by having that door in the front. So right now we're just waiting on the electrician both for this area and for the root cellar. And then as soon as the electrician's done with his stuff then they can finish framing in both areas and we can get um, everything done. Like the heating and cooling guys were just here this morning and they installed where the unit is gonna be. Um, out the back. So anyway, it's just really exciting stuff. And here are the boxes from Gardener's Supply. See, this is why I think it's a new light stand because <laughs> it's, it says it on the box. So does that one. Hey. Did you just give a tour? I did. Yeah. Yeah. It's been I, so nice. Yeah, I'm actually happy with the placement of the, where the unit's gonna be up there. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be great. Yeah. Honestly, I think maybe we'll do filming this direction too. Uh -huh. Look how much space there is. If I have a camera here, it's a lot of room to that back wall. Yeah, there really is. I just, I so envisioned us uh, like filming this way. I was kind of nervous where that unit was going to be. Oh, yeah. But honestly, like I'm so short here, you should hold the camera. Yeah. Like, like a little bit of a, an idea. <laughs> 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 like, we won't. I won't be, be, yeah, I won't frame anything like that. Yeah. But well, I'm thinking like, we'll set this up almost like a home out here. Like, we'll so step forward just a little couch bit. And chairs and stuff. 
That'll be like that, maybe. Oh, Can you on. see it? Hold on, no. How about if I move forward? I'm kind of interested. Can you back up? Like, you want to be able to see it? No, well, I want to know at what point you can see it. Oh, I can see it now. Oh, like, now? Yeah, I can still see it. Well, it's because you didn't move. I'm Probably the focal length will be different as well. Yeah, it'll be... But anyway, you, you were saying cameras, you were saying that you wanted to turn this into kind of a more homey yeah. feeling. Well, don't you think like a couch and then like yeah. all the plant lights will probably be, I'm guessing, on this wall because uh, all the pl well there'll be plugins. Yes or no one? Yeah. There will yeah, be, electricians coming but in. But there's uh, windows there, and I kind of don't want to mess up the windows. What are we gonna know. do about the flooring? Did we talk about that? <laughs> <laughs> kind of like the concrete. Well, yeah. I don't mind it. It's bright. Okay, here you go. Concrete means that um, I won't have to worry about dirt and stuff. Yeah, that's true. All right, so I think what we're going to do is just get all these boxes opened up. I don't know how we're going to even do it. I think Aaron brought a camera out. I don't know. I <laughs> don't feel very organized today. First box. I already opened this one. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I was kind of excited because I was thinking it was something that it turned out being. Did that make sense? <laughs> Nothing ever does. These are hanging birdcage planters, which I'm super excited about because I think that they're gonna look so pretty up in our front sun porch. Okay, so now here's the hardware here. So you can see you've got a large and a small size, and then these are the hooks that go on the top. So let me get those put on quick. I'm so excited put some house plants in these, like just pre-potted like a fern or ivy or something like that and let them trail out, so fun. Okay, so these are the hanging birdcage planters. They have a little like uh, lock here that opens up their door and then the hook, it just screws right into the top. It's really easy. I think they'll look cute like maybe hanging like this or something with plants hanging out of them in the sun porch or inside. I haven't decided yet. Maybe in here. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, that's the reason why I wanted to unbox like the light systems out here because I know they're going to end up in this space. So we'll set them up and we'll move them out of the guy's way into the other bay and then we'll bring them right back in. Okay, let me grab another box. Folding two-tier light stand frame. So the casters just screw right onto the bottom, really easy. What size is that? This is a half inch. What's it called? Half inch. Wrench? Wrench. Or... No. Half inch one of these. Yeah. All right, half inch wrench. <laughs> So this is the two tier light stand and there are, which I'm assuming there's another big box over here. There are uh, light lights that have like magnetic clips that you can clip to these, uh, the bottoms of these shelves. So let's get into that box. All right, I wanted to give you guys an update real quick so I could get close up on these pieces. I'm not sure how much you're able to see with that camera in here. This will be a really good test. I mean, take into account, we don't have any lights yet. We're just dealing with whatever light's coming through this hole in the front. There's Russell. Hey, buddy. Is this construction project throwing you off a little bit, bud? So there's the birdcage planters there. Those were easy. And then the light stands, two tier right here without the lights, because I think the lights are in here. This is the box we'll tackle next. And then this is the four tier light stand. I think something was dropped on it in shipping or it was dropped. When it was all folded up, this dent and this dent lined up together. Thankfully it's on the back side. I will let Gardener Supply know though. They're really easy to work with on stuff like that. But anyway, I was really pleased with how easy they came together, but I'm excited to get lights on them.
here they are all done set up the lights are on so you could spend some time making the cords look better which i will once they are permanently in here uh, but this is how they turn on and off there's a little toggle thing so there is 13 inches from the bottom of one tray to the top of the other one and the depth is 12 inches there and you can if you want to like if you need room for taller plants you can fold up one of the shelves to make more headspace for that plant. And that's kind of one of the beauties of these light stands is that they're adaptable to whatever size of plants you have. But like for me, I'm thinking like this is the perfect size for a seed tray so to start some of my flower seeds this winter. And they also have the casters right there, which you can lock or have open so that you can easily kind of slide it around, which I think might be handy in here as well as we'll probably be shifting stuff around a lot to film different projects. We'll go ahead and link all of this stuff down below in case you wanna learn more about it. I mean, we've tried out lots of different light stands throughout the years. Like we have the uh, Sunlight 3 tier, we have the Bamboo LED Grow Light Gardens. We've got a couple of like tabletop gardens. So it'll be really fun to try these out as well. It's fun to see like how they work in a space and I love to be able to share with you guys how they worked for us. So it'll be exciting when we can move everything out here because I wanna do kind of a grand tour of this room when it's all done. And I can show you all the different light systems we use and kind of explain the pros and cons that I've learned. Of course, I don't know anything about these yet in terms of how, like the usability of them. Um, I've got to put them to the test a little bit. So it'll be fun. I'm really excited. So anyway, that's it for today's video. Just wanted to show you guys this room because I'm not sure that we've actually explained what we were planning to do in here. Uh, it should be done, we're hoping, sometime in November. What are the odds? <laughs> High, low? Well. Say say hi. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, hopefully at some point we'll be in here this winter, at least before we start seeds. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and we will see you in the next video. Bye.